let's just see, go straight to the ones that we've not done. So the ones we've not done, number one, the ones we've not done, I'm just calling number one. So we have the mandatory subjunctive concord. Subjunctive concord, alright? Now, what is this one saying? Hello, good evening. Have you done the maths? Yes, we just uh, we just did that. So you came in a bit late. Mandatory subjunctive concord is saying that when you have the words such as resolves, um, suggests, um, recommends. Man, when you have some words such as this or any other word that means the same thing or is close to this, that the verb that comes after will become a plural, right? So this is the mandatory subject. subject. Let's see an example. Will become a plural. It has to be plural. Let me get an example. Okay. Now look at this one. Look at this one. So you have I wish. That he dash home. I wish in this case we have the word wish. I wish that he dash home. Now the options we have are A, we have we have go, we have goes, we have going, and we have as God. Okay? As God. So what do you think will be the correct answer here? What will be the correct answer? Hello, Lara, good evening to you. Welcome. Chris says A. I wish that he go home. I think that you say B goes home. Timmy says D has gone home. Vikiela says B goes home. Evelyn says D has gone, B goes, Chris B goes, IDK says A. Now, this rule, this concord, this agreement says that whenever you have such words, reach, I wish that, I recommend that, we resolve that, we pray that, we demand that, we suggest that, all those kind of words, all right? When you have such words, that the verb that would follow has to be the plural, has to be plural. Now, it has to be plural. Even if this E is singular, that the verb has to be plural. So you want to check the options. Which of them is plural? Is go plural? Yes, go is plural. Is go is plural? Go is singular, so that's out. Going. Going is continuous tense. Alright, let's just leave it first. As gone, singular or plural. As is singular, so that's out. So now, if you want to look at these two, which will fit in. I wish that he go home, or I wish that he going home. Of course, this does not make sense. The answer is he go. I wish. So where are you? Okay, I'm in Nigeria. I'm in I'm in Anambra state of Nigeria. So I wish that he go home. Now that's the that's the correct uh, statement, and not goes. Even though this is singular, normally you would want to say this should be singular, but the rule says when you have such words, wish. Now, why is it so? Why is it so? It is so because it is assumed that a word is missing here, which is what? Should. I wish that it should go home. I wish that it would go. And what we, we in English, whenever you have the modal auxiliary, it should have a plural verb after it. If you have a modal auxiliary, you should have a plural verb after it and not a singular verb. So I wish that he would, okay, would. So you wouldn't say he would go home. You would say he would go. Alright, so so it is assumed that such word, one, one, this word is missing. Alright, so that's the correct thing. Go and not go. The answer should be went. No, 
I wish that he go home. God is plural. As God, as God, this makes it singular. As God is not looking at God, God is just past participle, okay? So you cannot tell if it's singular or plural. As makes it what? Um, singular. I don't see you, okay? I'm here. Singular subject take plural verb. Okay, boah. Singular subject take. No, in this case, what we are looking at, anytime you see such words, which, again, I'm saying, anytime you see such words, recommend, anytime you see such words, suggest, I suggest that, I pray that, I demand that, I request that, I uh, resolve that, those words, I wish that, that the plural that will, the, the verb rather, the verb that will come after it has to be what? Plural. Go. But when you use which, the verb should be past tense. When you use which, the verb should be past tense. I wish that he go home. I wish that... Let's, let me give us another example. Okay, look at this one. I pray. Now we have the word pray. I pray that God dash. The options we have are so the options we have are L A B L C L B and B Let's use these three options. So, what will be the correct answer? Watching you from Ghana. Hello, um, Henry. How's Ghana today? God is an exceptional case. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to have here? I pray that God dash. I pray that God help. I pray that God helps. I pray that God help him. Us, okay, us. Us. I pray that God help us. I pray that God helps us. I pray that God help in us. A A B B A B A A L. That's that's what it is. So the answer is A. Plural. By the way, I said. Um, by the way, how do you identify a singular verb and a plural verb? So a singular verb is a verb that ends with S, right? This is singular. This is plural. Goes. In this case, this is singular, but this is plural. Okay. C. Help me? No. This is even out. I pray that God help in us. No. See where we are going. Yeah, that's the answer. A. Alright. So, for time's sake, let me quickly go to the next one. So, that's the mandative subjunctive concord. The next one we have is the. I have already talked about the many are concord. The next one we have is the. Which one have we not talked about? Parenthesis concord. Okay. We have the parenthesis concord. So the parenthesis concord is saying, so when you have an extra clause or phrase that serves to, to, for example, let me give an example. Um, which is just you repeating already what has been said, that you neglect the second one, okay, and focus on the first part of the subject. So let me look for an example of such. Okay, the principal. The principal not. The principal not is student. Dash yeah. Not a student dash here is here or are here. The principal not a student is here or are here. Now, okay, let me. Why we're answering the question? 
the parenthesis concord says anytime you have something like this this is the main subject all right this is just an addition this thing is also talking about this is giving us uh, it's just like you have it in brackets it's not the focus the principal in brackets not is all right this is not the main not is today so this is like in parenthesis in brackets okay the focus here our main subject is the principal so what will happen is that the then will be what depending on what you have here so what we have here is a singular subject the principal all right so that means our answer will be singular then because this has to go with a singular then so the principal not the student is here and that's the answer is because we are talking about exactly because we are talking about the principal good a a a yeah that's the answer the principal not the student is here Larex is here. Larex is here. All right. So, um, one more example. Let's take one more example. One Concord. Accompaniment Concord. Accompaniment Concord. I feel like I've talked about this one already. Accompaniment Concord. Accompaniment Concord say when you have when you have in the subject a list of um, nouns or pronouns when you are having the word with in between or alongside or together with or as well as so example example you have Side with 
and others like that. When you have a subject, uh, a now, another now, and it seems this is in accompaniment with this, like it's accompanying this one, this one, this, you see an accompaniment phrase here in between the now, that your focus will be the one before this accompaniment uh, clause here. The focus will be this one, which is doing. So it's like you can close your eyes to these other ones here. It becomes towing dash pretty. Now let's see the options. So towing as well as assistance dash pretty. The options we have are is a is pretty b are pretty. Two options, okay. Towing as well as assistance dash pretty. Is pretty are pretty. B are pretty, is pretty, A, 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 B, is, is, A, 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 B. Okay. In accompaniment phone code, I'm going to repeat my, okay, let me read out the list of those things. We have as well as, we have no less than, we have together with, we have in association with, we have alongside, we have with, we have including, we have in collaboration with, we have like, we have as much as so. Whenever you have any of these words, all right, bringing these nouns together, your focus should be on the one before this accompaniment clause. Now, whatever you have here will determine what your verb will be. So what you have here, if this is singular, then your verb will be singular. And if this is plural, your verb will be plural. If this is the children or the children as well as their parents. Now, because this is the children, then your verb, the children is plural, then your verb also has to be plural. But in this case, toy is one person, singular. So automatically, our verb has to be singular. So you're asking yourself now, which of this is singular? If toy is singular, then which of this is singular? Is singular, are singular? No, this is plural. So this is wrong, and this is the answer. Is pretty. Toy, as well as her sisters, is pretty. Michael with um, Jeremiah came to my house. Okay, Michael, that's even past tense. Okay, Michael with Jeremiah has done. Michael has done the work. Okay, Michael with Jeremiah. It is not up. You would say, okay, because you are seen two people, it becomes have. No. Yes, we know that have goes with plural. Have is plural, right? Have is used for more than one. And have as is used for one, singular. But in this case, our focus is on this one. Not Jeremiah. Michael is the main focus, all right? This is just accompanying Michael, all right? Michael is the face, is the, is the, is the, is the main person. This is just accompanying Michael, Jeremiah. So Michael has done the work with Jeremiah. That's like rephrasing this whole thing now. So let's go to the next one. The next one, when we're done with this, I'll give us some questions, some, uh, some, some of those questions on Concord. The next one we have here is the indefinite pronoun Concord. Indefinite pronoun Concord. So we have the indefinite pronoun Concord. Anywhere, anything, 
and any value. So when you have these words, these are the, the, the indefinite pronouns, all right? So whenever you have these words, the verb that would follow will be singular. Whenever you have these words, the verb that would follow will be singular. Let's say some examples. So examples. Everybody. Everybody dash. Everybody dash. I am responsible. So we have two options. We have option A B and option B things. Everybody dash. I am responsible. Everybody think I am responsible or everybody thinks I am responsible. What would be the correct answer? NBA, I'm also interested. Okay, interested in what? Okay, everybody dash I am responsible. Everybody think or everybody thinks I am responsible. Which would be the correct answer? Everybody think I am responsible or everybody thinks I am responsible. Okay? B, 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 things, B, things, okay? Okay, Eric thinks he's A, think. Yeah, yeah, thinks he's A, think. Okay, whenever you have any of the swords that I listed out before now, these are what we call the indefinite pronouns. So, whenever you have the swords, anybody, anyone, anything, anywhere, Everybody, everyone, everything, everywhere, nobody, no one, nothing, nowhere, somebody, someone, something, somewhere. Whenever you have any of these words, the verb that would follow has to be singular. So this is regarded as a singular subject, alright? So this is singular and we have to pick the singular one among these. So is this singular? You're asking yourself. Or is this singular? That should be the correct one. Which of them is singular? Thing or things? Things? Is what? Singular. That's the answer. So this is wrong. Everybody thinks. Remember, the one with the S at the back is the singular. The one without S is plural. Goes. Singular. Go. Plural. Walks. Singular. Walk. Plural. Uh, uh, says. Uh, singular. Say. Plural. And so on and so forth. So let's go to the next one. The next one. Okay, categorization concord. Categorization concord. Number four or So categorization here talks about a word or talks about classification of people or things, right? For example, if you say the rich, it's a category of people. The poor, it's a category of people. The youth, category of people. So that's what categorization here talks about. Let me bring an example. So we have the rich men or the rich, okay. The rich dash in the so option A is state and states. Option A state and option B states. So is it going to be state or is it going to be states? The rule says when you have categorization like this, the rich refers to a category of people, all right? The people who are wealthy, who are regarded as wealthy. What happens? It says the verb after it will be plural. So now you want to ask yourself which of this is plural. That would be what will answer this question, all right? That would be what fits in here correctly. The rich in the state or the rich states. Because the rich here is not referring to one person, it's referring to a group of people, it's referring to a number of people that are categorized in the in India. So the rich is it stay on the island or the rich stays on the island. 
A A stay stay the rich stays. Okay, B. And then he says stays. I have A, which is stay. The basic says stays. Um, and D says A. Precious B, Ikiela A. Okay. Um, B, Fenua. Okay, stairs A. And B A B B, Laxida A. Oh, where have you been? Um, funny princess, stay, stay, okay. The rich categorization, the verb that should follow. If you know those rules, all right, so this, this is the only way you can answer questions of Concord, knowing the rules. So when you see this, you want to, okay, this is um, categorization Concord, all right, this is referring to a group of people. Thank you, Timmy, thank you for the mic, thank you. So you, you know that the verb that will follow should be plural. So the next thing you're going to look at the option is to ask yourself which of these is plural. Is it stay that is plural or is it state that is plural? Which of them is plural? This? No. This? Yes. This is singular. Again, I, I said, just like I said before, that when you have S at the end of the verb like that's called singular, this one is plural. So this is the answer. Stay. That's the answer. Stay. Yeah, stay. Quickly, the next one, um, all, all concord, all concord, all concord. When the word all is used, all concord. When the word all is used, it either it means everything, it either it means everything, or all the people, everybody, all right, all the people. That it means this, or it means what? This. Now, the, the, the concord, the rule is saying anytime it means this, that the verb that will follow should be singular. And anytime it means this, when it comes to people, that the verb that should follow should be what? Plural. If it means this, everything, like all is well with me, for example. All is well with me. What this means is everything is well with me. That's what this is mean. This means. So everything. Now, when it means this, the verb should be, you can see it's singular, all is. If this is what you are trying, you are saying, the verb that should follow should be singular. Everything is um, well, all is well with me. That's everything is well. But if you are talking about the people like like um call all the teachers. Oh, okay. All the teachers, good. Or all are in school. Okay, let's say you're saying all are good, all are in school. In this case, we are talking about people. In this case, we are talking about people, probably students or maybe teachers. So all the people, then the plural becomes are, right? So if you are talking about things like everything, the, the subject, the verb rather should be singular. But if you are talking about all the people using the same word all, the verb should be are. Let's take some examples. We have we have A is we have B we have R we have C we have as is R as all is already seated in the all all are already seated in the all all has already seated in the hall. B B B A B B B A A A B A as Okay, now the rule says all when it is referring to things as in everything the, sub, the verb that will come after it should be singular, right? But if it's referring to people as in everybody, all the people rather, all the people, it should be what? Plural. 
In this case, who will be sitting in the hall? It has to be people. So all the people, all right? So the verb should be plural. Is this plural? No, singular, so that's out. Is this plural? Yes. Is this plural? This is singular, so this will not work. So this is out. And then this is your answer. Ah. All are already seated. The answer is C. No, the answer is B. Ah. Not all as. As is not even close to it. Yes, we can say has. We can say have rather, because have is plural. Ah. Now the next one. Uh, I think we have two more. We have either, neither, common. Either, rather, that's the pronunciation. Either, I think that's British English pronunciation. Either, neither, common. Either, neither, common. Now, when you see this, just like, uh, just like the concord of proximity, Concord of proximity says, Concord of proximity says, where you have the word of joining two nouns like Michael, Michael, or James, Michael or James, that because you are seeing these two verbs, these two nouns, it does not mean that the verb will be plural. No. What will, come, what will determine the verb you are going to have is the one that is closest to the verb. Anytime you see two verbs, two nouns, or three nouns, or more nouns, a list, all right, in the subject position, what they are joined with for. This is different from this. Michael and James. So if you see Michael and James, this is plural, all right? You are taking plural verb after. Michael and James have. But if you see or Michael or James as because you are considering just the James in order to determine your verb, all right? So now, when it comes to either or neither concord, either means one of, neither means none of, all right? So your verb coming after, since it is one of, the verb is just like the one of concord, also we talked about the one of concord. One of concord is also a singular verb, all right? So in this case, you're having the singular verb also. Example, let's an example. Aida, Odu, Aida, Odu, or Ola, Aida, Odu, or Ola, Dash, Aida, Odu, or Ola, Dash, uh, Me, A, Know Me, B, Knows Me. So whenever you have this, right, either it's telling you that it is one of these, all right? But then, okay, well, let's answer this first. One of these, so what would be the answer? It has to be a singular verb, all right? Before I say the second thing. It has to be a singular verb because it's either this one or this one. So it's either no or no. The question you want to ask yourself now, which one of them is singular? It's no singular, it's no singular. No, B, B, okay, good. We all get it. So this is singular. This is correct in this case. Now, what if you have? What if you have? Either Olu or the children. Either Olu or the children. Dash me. So you have no. The same options, and you have nos. So in this case. The either neither concord comes to play, and also the concord of proximity comes to play. In other words, the one you'll be considering now will be the one after the or. Whether it is either or or neither nor. Why? In this case, both of them are singular, alright? So it's easy to just choose one singular. But yeah, this one is singular, the children is plural. This is singular, and this is plural. So you, you are confused, you don't know, am I going to take this one, am I going to take this one? The one you want to take is the one that is closer to the verb, alright? So, am I going to take this or this, it is this, the children, that's plural, so your verb will be plural. So, either Olu or the children, that's me. You are asking yourself now, which of these is the plural? It is what? A. So, either Olu or the children, know me. 
No, that's your answer. But if this were to be the child, if this were to be the child, either Odu or the child, the answer is no. Why? This is singular. Singular, singular. So our answer would be our verb would be what? Singular. Either Odu or the child knows me. Let's see if I can get another one. Singular, the, the verb 
singular. So which of these is singular? Speaks. Remember the one with the S? Yeah, that's the singular. This is plural. Speaks. So many are students speaks English. But in this country, many boys or many students, many students dash English. Many students, sorry. Dash English. Now what will be the correct option? Speak or speaks? Many students dash English. Yeah, it becomes speak. So this becomes speak. Many students speak English. But many are students speaks English. Now questions. Um, let me bring up some questions. So the first one now. So the first one says, if Ugo, if Ugo performs poorly, if Ugo performs poorly in his forthcoming, if Ugo performs poorly in his forthcoming examination. Then, either, either his mother or I dash to play. So if we go perform poorly in his, in his forthcoming examination, then either his mother or I dash to play. Now the options we have A must to play. B has to play. C will be to play. D are to play. And we have E here also. I'm to play. So what's the correct answer here? If Ugo performs poorly in his forthcoming examination, then either his mother or I dash to blame, must to blame, has to blame, will be to blame, are to blame, am to blame. D are to blame, B has to blame, B am, are to blame, am to blame, will be to blame, has to blame, has to blame. Are to blame will be to blame. Okay, so we have <laughs> we have our answers just scattered across the options. Okay, so what concord is applicable here? It is the either neither concord. If Google performs poorly in his forthcoming examination, all right, then either his mother or dash dash to blame. Thank you, um, thank you, Judith. Thank you for the roses. Thank you. And Lara says it's confusing. So the either, neither concord is applicable here. If Ugo performs poorly in his, in his forthcoming examination, the either is mother or I dash to them. Thank you, Kilani. Thank you for the rules. So either is mother or I. Either is mother or I. Remember, we are talking about one here. Yeah? It is singular. This one or this one. Emma Junior. Emma Junior, thank you for the roses. Now, if the confusion here is, <laughs> is the word I. <laughs> now, so are we going to say, first of all, we agree that since this is singular and this is, um, what is now? Mother is singular. So you want to say, okay, the verb will be singular. Then you are looking at the options. This is singular. Uh, this can go, maybe will be, okay. R is plural. By the way, this, R, this one is out already. Okay, let's not take it out yet. Let's not think it up. You see this word? You see this I? And the word you. These two words, they don't really go with the concept that singular nouns should go with singular verb. Or plural, in fact, these two. I, it's just one person. But it will never, it doesn't obey that law. It doesn't go with, you can say he is, you can say she is, John is, Emeka is, Adamu is, they really is, and so on and so forth. But I will not go with is, alright? So the word am 
was coined for the word I. I am, right? You, even though you one person, you are plural. The same thing with as and am. You can say he as, you can say she as, you can say the uh, the boy as, the girl as, Mr. This as, but you want people to say I as. You say I have, it wants to go with the other one. So it is not acting like a singular uh, pronoun. Alright? It's not acting like a it's not acting like uh, the singular pronoun, okay? So now, mother or I, the verb, the, the verb that will go, the answer is actually I. Alright, that's the closest one. This is the closest one here, I. So which of these will go with I? It is not I must be to blame. It is not I ask to blame, no. It is not I will be to blame. It is not I am to blame. It is I am to blame. So I am to blame. Alright, so we are going with this word. Remember the, the, the concord says what? When you have this like this, the one nearest to the verb determines the verb. Alright? So this I will determine the verb. And what goes with I is am, not am. Our of course is I is plural. So you are looking at this, I must to blame doesn't is out of it already. I will be to blame. <laughs> I ask to blame. <laughs> the answer is I am to blame. E, yes, that, that's the answer. E. I am to blame. Good. So the next one, the next question. Um, next question says. Okay. We hold that the nation. We hold that the nation. the nation both in its public and private sectors both in its public and private sectors dash dash the best consultancy service. That's the best consultancy service in all its endeavors. In all its endeavors. So we all that a nation, both in its public and private sectors, that's the best consultancy service in all its endeavors. The options we have here are A, the Z, B, is deserving, C, deserves, D, are deserving, So we hold that the nation, both in its public and private sectors, dash the best consultancy service in all its endeavors. Deserve the best consultancy service, is deserving the best consultancy service, deserves the best consultancy service, are deserving the best consultancy service, richly deserve the best consultancy service. What is the answer? Deserve, deserves, C, deserves. A deserve deserves 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 deserve is deserving deserve deserve C deserves deserves deserve okay so it's between A and C now so it's between A and C deserve deserves deserve deserves yeah this is number two yeah we hold that the nation, both in its public and... By the way, what concord is applicable here? It is the parenthesis concord. Look at this. We hold that the nation, the nation, we hold that the nation, 
both in its public and private sector. This is like a parenthesis a clause. It's it's just um, I can I can take this out. It's just giving us trying to explain this nation, all right, in all its sectors, in all both the public sector, the private sector. So I can put that in bracket. So what we want to focus on is what the nation. We hold that the nation, what? The nation, is it the nation deserve? Or is it the nation is deserving? Is, it, is deserving the best consultancy? You know? Is it the nation deserves? Is it the nation are deserving? Is it the nation with the deserve? Yeah, exactly, yeah, it stands for the same thing. So we hold that the nation, this is singular, right? It is singular. So the verb should be singular. So which of them is singular? The or the zebs? The zeb is plural. This is singular. That's the answer. The zebs. Remember again, the one with the S is what? The singular. The one without the S is what? Is the plural. The one with the S is the singular. The one without the S is plural. The one with the S is the singular. The one without the S is the plural. Yes, that's the answer. So now let's go for the next one. The next question. So the next question says, each of the contestants, each of the contestants dash a chance to win. Each of the contestants dash a chance to win. Options A has a chance to win. B have a chance to win. C get a chance to win. D get a chance to win. E take a chance to win. Yeah, so those are options. But each of the contestants dash a chance to win, has a chance to win, have a chance to win, get a chance to win, gets a chance to win, take a chance to win. Each of the contestants. Each of the contestants. Remember the each of Concord, each of one of, the same thing, each of one of Concord. It says that the verb following has to be what? Singular. Because each of is not only one, okay? Each of one of, singular verb follows. So you want to look at this and then pick your correct answer. Is it each of the contestants has a chance to win? Each of the contestants have a chance to win. Each of the contestants get a chance to win. Each of the contestants gets a chance to win. Each of the contestants take a chance to win. As B as A as plural is A. Uh, is as plural A have 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 D where is D? Gets D gets okay. So D is also having its own portion of answers. Um, as have A D gets uh, B have have A and D okay. Uh, B B D gets D get okay. Each of the contestants has a chance to win. Now each of means what? So your your verb will be what singular. Let's look at this. Which is singular? As yes. Each of them has a chance to win. Each of them has. Now I see why the person who said A and B were coming. B have plural. No. If one person, no, this is wrong. So this is out. Get also plural. Get is singular. Each of them gets a chance to win. Yes, it's correct. They out. So these two will be correct. But now what if you are in an exam and you have only, only to choose one answer? So which of these two will you go for? These two are correct. As and get. Both of them are singular. But if you are in an exam and you have to choose one, so which will you take? So you have to take the, the most the correct one, the most suitable, alright? Between A and D. You probably go for A. As. Each of them has a chance to win. So that will be the answer in this case. Each of the contestants has a chance to win. That will be our answer. Alright, the next one. The next one says, in my opinion, in my, in 
my opinion, neither the players In my opinion, neither the players nor the coach In my opinion, neither the players nor the coach dash praise for the results of the match. In my opinion, Neither the players nor the coach. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Um, in my opinion, neither the players nor the coach does praise for the result of the match. So the options we have option A to be deserves. Option B to be deserved. Option C to be are deserving option D to be is deserving four options okay we only have four options here is deserving so in my opinion neither the players nor the coach dash praise for the result of the match neither the players nor the coach deserves praise for the result of the match Neither the players nor the coach deserve praise for the results of the match. Neither the players nor the coach are deserving praise or is deserving praise. A, A, B, B, A, 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 B, B, okay? A, A, B, A, B, because it's plural, okay? A, A, C, D, C A B A A B A. So neither either concord. Neither the players nor the coach. Even though this one is plural, it is said that the one closer to the verb will determine what the verb. If it's going to be singular or plural. So the one closer is what the coach, and the coach is singular. All right. So that will determine our verb. Our verb will be what singular. Is it deserves? Is it deserve? Is it are deserving or is deserving? Deserves, deserve, are deserving is deserving. The answer is what? Deserves, yeah. Singular, deserves. So in my opinion, neither the players nor the coach deserves praise for the result of the match. AMT, welcome. I'm very well, thank you. Now you. So that's the answer to that one. We'll take uh, a few more and then we'll call it a day for today. So we have... Many a candidate, many a candidate, many a candidate, <laughs> Larex, many a candidate does to realize, does to realize, Mikiela says assignment, okay, assignment is coming. Many a candidate does to, thank you, Tosi, does to realize. That's to realize the difference. The difference between written and spoken English. Written and spoken English. Options A fails to realize. Option B, fail to realize. Option C, have failed to realize. And option D, is failing to realize. Option, that's all. So many a candidate does not realize the difference between written and spoken English. Many a candidate fails to realize Many a candidate fail to realize. Many a candidate uh, are failed to realize. Many a candidate is failing to realize the difference between written and spoken English. So what's the correct answer? 
What's the correct answer? Fails. C. I failed. A. Fails. 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 C. I failed. I failed. Now the many are concord. The many are concord says whenever you see many are, all right, that the 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 verb coming after it, all right, will be what singular. The verb coming after it will be singular. Even with your now also is singular, so the verb coming after will be singular. So check this and see which of them is the singular verb. Many a candidates that should realize the difference between written and spoken English. Is it singular? The singular, singular, singular. Fails singular. It is singular. Fail, singular, plural, out. I fail, singular, out, plural, out. Um, this is a present perfect, but he's using the word out, so we make it plural. He's failing, present continuous. Many a candidate is failing to realize, is failing to realize the difference between written and spoken English. Um, don't these two, by the way, can go. We can say it fails to realize the difference between written and spoken English. We can also say it's failing. Many a candidate is failing to realize the difference. Fails, is failing to realize the difference. But the best of these two options will be what? Fails. A. Fails to realize. Many a candidate fails to realize the difference between written and spoken English. That's our answer. A. Fails to realize. Fails to realize. The last one, the last one for today. The last one. Before it, immediately before it. 
will determine the verb here. Then if there is any other verb in the sentence, it will be determined by the first subject that is mentioned. In this case, we have one of, okay? So, but this one will be determined by this, and if there is any other verb in this case, now we have another verb here. So, it will be determined by the one of. So now, choose your answers. Larry says, I think C, who sells and who has, and this is B, okay? C, like Seda says, what? Seda says, uh, B, Ibrahim says T, you know, Chris Jenner says T, Kima Africa says C. Let's answer this. So, this will determine the verb here, alright? So, this is plural. That means the, the verb here will be plural. That's what it means. This is plural. The men who what? Men who. So, this who is pointing at this man. So, it will determine the verb here, alright? Men who. Now, is it men who sells or men who sell or men who. Men who sell or who sells? Because there are only two. Sells or sell. Are we going to say men who sells or men who sell? Men who sells or men who sell? Men who sells or men who sell? Sells, sell. Men is plural, don't forget. Plural, men. So this should be plural. Men who sells, men who sell. Sell or sells? I'm still seeing. No, it is sell. Because this is sells is singular. Whenever you have S, alright, this makes it singular. Sell is plural. Right, so this is plural, then you should go with sell. So we have one of the men who sell automatically it takes this out and it takes this out. So the next we have two options left: sell out or sell as. One of the men who sell in the premise is he has been asked to withdraw or have been asked to withdraw. Now this one will be determined by the one of singular, one of singular. So is it going to be one of the men have been asked, or one of the men has been asked? One of have, one have, or one has, one singular. So have plural, as singular. And this is the answer. So this is out, and that is it. As. So one of the men, men who sell in the premise as, I can say one has been asked to withdraw. One of what? One of the men who sell. So, one of the men who sell in the premise has been asked to withdraw. And that's the answer. One of the men who sell in the premise has been asked to withdraw. Thank you, Kima. Thank you for the roses. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. The, everyone gift us so far. Thank you very much for the gifts. All right, so now I'm going to be giving assignment. Assignment. Let's take some more. Okay, our time is actually up. Assignment. of the physics class three quarters of the physics class dash dash okay dash a improve b improves Yeah, we're coming back again on Monday. My first time joining you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, you know, maybe that will be the next class or subsequent.
Okay, we have improved, we have improved, we have are improving. Then we have D, we have this improving. Number two.
five, the last one, the government. The government which dash recruiting. Recruiting. The government which dash recruiting workers. Suddenly, suddenly stopped doing so. Suddenly stopped doing so. Options A. A. We have. Okay. Okay, the government which dash recruiting dash workers, please. The government which dash recruiting dash workers suddenly stopped doing so. So the options A says A and it's option B says option B says where and yeah. Option C says this and there. Option D says was and it. So there you have it. What to find? Either a kite or you that to go, was to go, had to go, has to go, is to go. The director, no less than his workers, dash to play. Is to blame, are to blame, were to blame, or to blame. The government, which dash recruiting dash workers, suddenly stopped doing so. Are recruiting its workers, or were recruiting their workers, or is recruiting their workers, or was recruiting its workers, suddenly stopped doing so. Let's write fast. I don't get the number one question. The number one question says three quarters of the physics class, three quarters of the physics class um, dash. A improve Larex. A improve B improves. Improve with no S. B improves with S. C are improving. And D is improving. Oh, John. Okay. Larry says you can screenshot. If you can screenshot, you can do that. That will save time. That will save time. So we're meeting again on Monday. No, that reminds me. Please, on Monday, it won't be 8 p.m. Please, take note. On Monday, it will be 9. On Monday, on Monday it will be 9. Please, the time has been shifted. 9 p.m. on Monday. 9 p.m. on Monday. Then Wednesday and, and Friday, 8 p.m. 9 p.m. on Monday. Then Wednesday and Friday, 8 p.m. So we're meeting again on Monday. Okay, Larry. Vicky, is that one better? Is that better for you? Is 9 p.m. better? Yes, I have an engagement that will run till now. So I will be late to be late. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me tonight. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for your presence, your active uh, participation. Thank you for the gifts. Oh, Alima, you're back. Okay, you came back when we just about wrapping it all up. I really enjoyed the lecture. The world government. Government is, uh, it can be singular, it can be plural, depending. It has its own room.
Okay. Okay. It's where do you come from? I'm from Anambra State. And I stay in Anambra State, Nigeria. Yeah, thank you too. Welcome. Leadership? Tambasing leadership? No, we do maths and English. Maths and English. Are we still going to treat Concord on Monday? No, that's why I had to try to um, cover from everything today. What we are going to do is to take the correction to the questions, the assignments on Monday, and then we go into a new topic, either in maths or English. Yeah. I'm going to get the answer of number five. Okay. All right, good night, everybody. Good night. See you on Monday.